so hi everyone we are back with yet another tutorial on model context protocol and this time we would be connecting the most famous app notion with cloud ai using model context protocol mcp server so if you don't know notion is a great tool for maintaining productivity writing your daily findings maintaining your documentations etc and this time we would be controlling notion using cloud ai so as you can see this is the page that i've started getting started which is empty and let's add content to this page using cloud ai so i would be first showing you the demonstration and then how to connect notion mcp with cloud ai so let's get started so here you can see that my cloud ai desktop application is up now and if you click on the hammer sign there are 18 tools from notion that are present so we, i have already connected notion mcp and then i'll be showing you a demonstration add a page explaining what is chat GPT in short in Notion? So this is the text that I, uh, I would be appending. Let's see what happens. As you can see, Claude has started working now. And you can read here Notion append block children from Notion. It is started using a tool as well. This might take some time and once we see the results in the end of the day, you would be able to see that we have added an entire page to Notion automatically by just giving a prompt to, chat G, uh, to Cloud AI using MCP. This might take some time because it's a long process and it would require you to give multiple permissions also at times if you are starting the session for the first time as you can see here. It is asking for multiple permissions. I, I will need to create a new page first before adding content to explain what chat GPT is. You need to be active here because what I was reading about is that all the MCP tools can't be automatically given autonomy. Hence, this is something that you can't override. You need to provide access every time you start a session. So I was looking into all my tutorials that I have done here you might have seen that i am allowing tools every time when it is asking because this can't be automated for now as mentioned by the mcp team here you can see that it has started adding content to the existing getting started page that i showed you in the beginning of the video and everything is handled automatically here you can see that notion create database item notion search notion append block children now once i go back here you can see that it is able to add some text here. Cloud AI has started working and it is started adding the text to Notion page. So this is how Notion AI Notion will work with Cloud AI using MCP server. So now if you are clear, I will be now demonstrating you how to do this. So let's first of all search for Notion MCP. This is the particular GitHub repo that I'm using for now. So you don't need to do much. You first need to go to your integration page on Notion. Do remember that you need to have an account on Notion. Also, you need to create a workspace as well. So creating a workspace is quite easy that you can search out. Here is an external integration that I have created MCP. So if you click on this settings, I have given it all the capabilities and here is a secret token that it generates. So I will be showing you how to create a new integration also. Click here, new integration. Associated workspaces, data science pockets, Notion. If you don't have it, you need to create a workspace in Notion. Very easy and free as well. And then type is internal. Once you click here, save. You need to provide a name to this integration. I'll mention it as test. Save this. Once you go to config, you need to copy this particular secret key. Do remember to copy this out. Once you are done, so now once you are done with creating the integration, in whatever section you wish to integrate this particular cloud AI access, you need to click on top right. And here you need to search for connection. As you can see, once you click on connection, there are different connections present. And if you search for test, test is also coming out, whatever name that we give for the connection. In my case, I added MCP, if you remember. So MCP is already connected active connection is mcp can read content can insert content can update content can comment can read comments as well now once you have enabled this connection in the notion page you need to go to claude's config file go to settings go to developer and here notion is present as you can see go to edit config now 
and open the JSON file. And here you can see that you need to add this information, this particular MCP server config here. The important parts are the name of the MCP server that is Notion, NPX. This is the argument. This is the most important argument. Add the rate, CUCO, MCP, Notion server. And the Notion API token, if you remember, when we were generating that integration, there was an access key that was given. You need to copy paste it here. I have blurred it for you in my case so that you don't steal it. <laughs> so, now, once you're done with this, you need to go to your task manager and close out Claude. End task. Once this is done, you need to relaunch Claude and you should be able to see all the tools that I showed you right now. Different notion tools and now you can start controlling notion from your cloud a application thank you so much i hope you try it out and you start maintaining your documents using cloud a for notion thank you so much